This is a Skoda Yeti 1.6 TDI CR Elegance. Uh, it's the Green Line 2 um, station wagon, five door. It's diesel. Uh, it's done 45,444 miles. And um, the fuel economy is urban 54.3, extra urban 67.3 and uh, combined 61.4 so extremely economical car um, 0 to 60 time 12.1 seconds and a top speed of 109 miles per hour I'll just take you for a, a quick ride in it Uh, to say the optical parking systems activated not easy to get out here Beeps of cars going by behind me, and we should be okay here. Just see what we've got. So, uh, height and reach adjustable steering wheel, just put that down there so we can see better from this camera. Make some room for this guy to get past. A lot of traffic's come now. And uh, every pull, body pulled out at the same time. Electric door mirrors, electric windows, remote central locking, got two keys for it, multifunction steering wheel, We've got heated front seats. Now these cars when they came out um, there was a huge waiting list for it. We we had a, a customer who was buying a Ferrari off us and he, he wanted one for his daughter, a new one. We couldn't get one. Um, as I say, there, there was a huge waiting list, so they were very, very popular. This one's the best colour. It's white, it's black leather. It's got the uh, touchscreen media system. Audi drivers, eh? Got them a long way. Stop start system as well. We'll knock that off. Lights are on the right here, electric windows also just on the armrest. Trip computer in the, the middle, the uh, rev counter and the speedo. Let's see if we can. Uh, so we've got Bluetooth hands free as well. We are just checking on the service history for this car because um, these days the motor trade 
for unknown reasons has gone to digital service histories which means there's no service booking the car so when the car comes in to stop we then have to start phoning around the dealers trying to find the service history instead of just uh, we, we always checked it but at least we had a service book with a stamp on and a dealer's telephone number to just go through and make sure the service history was legit incredibly stupid idea digital service histories great you know great for a record great in case you lose your service book but there's no substitute for a service book that you can actually look when somebody comes in to do a deal you can look at it and say oh it's got a digital service history ridiculous so right up there with electric brakes So nice to drive this, really, really good cars, Skodas now. Um, they always a, a little bit of a stigma to them, but now the VW product, and uh, if, if anything, they, uh, they command a premium. Very popular. It drives like new. It's uh, unmarked as far as I can see. Beautiful upholstery, front central armrest here with storage space. I think it's got audio streaming. Automatic aircon here. And every time you press a button comes up on the uh, media display in the center got this uh, gray metallic inset on the dash really nice suspension it's a bumpy road this but not uh, not feeling it in this car. I don't think I'll go up the motorway today. In fact, I'll do the next best thing. I'll We'll go up the dual carriageway past the uh, British Aerospace Factory at Salisbury. For some reason, there's lots of traffic out today. So it also tells you what gear you're in and it also tells you when to change. There's an arrow there to change up to get the best fuel economy. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this car is uh, well, it's, it's nearly three quarters full. Which again, as I always say, when a car comes in with fuel in, that means it's extremely economical and the previous owner can't use it all. So that's always a good sign. I've never seen it this busy up this road before. And I've been coming down it for probably 45 years. <laughs> slick gearbox, good acceleration, handy vehicle, plenty of room in the back.
compartment there, which won't flip up because my camera is there. Got uh, a nice deep glove box there, passenger airbag, off switch, in case you've got a kiddie seat there. Um, cup holders in the front, another cup holder in the uh, Oddman's trailer door panel. there so I will check later make sure it uh, streams audio your phone mobile phone not connected so I'll uh, do that as well show you how to do it I keep going for uh, six gear but with the diesels these days they, they normally only have five Does have cruise control. A lot of the cars these days are switch gears hidden behind the quarter to three position. Uh, same in the Skoda here, so you can't actually see it until you're turning left or, or right. So just figure it out there. Top switch is on. switches on, sets it to your speed limit, let's just see, click the bottom switch, it's kind of like a rocker switch, click that and it reduces your speed, click on the top it increases. Actually I'll turn around here because it will give you uh, a view of the Lightning and the Eurofighter there. There you go. How beautiful are they? It's British Aerospace at Salisbury. And that's a tosser. Get them round here. Fold down back seats, rear load cover, rear wash wipe, it's uh, body coloured bumpers and door handles, good looking car. Got a 
There's a global door locking and unlocking switch in the centre here, just forward of the cup holders. Kind of cubby hole there. Your anti lock brakes there and your stupid stop start off button. He's just a complete idiot. And he's going to the fuel station. So, all that rush is to get to the fuel station there. Cutting in front of people to get to the fuel station. The guy wants knocking out. glasses Knocks, groans, creaks, all nice. Ready to go straight on the pitch. I thought it was a locking wheel that's somewhere. It's the uh, it's actually got a cigarette lighter. 
uh, but one of my cameras, which is that one over there, is plugged into the cigarette lighter, so that's what's uh, rolling about. Prague last year and all the taxis in Prague are Skodas and um, one of the hotel cars was um, kind of a long wheelbase Skoda it was absolutely beautiful there was also not too far away was a factory and there was a field with dark blue scolders which I assume was a fleet order for somebody and as far as the eye could see dark blue scolders back in the garage so a lovely car <laughs> We've got so many cars I can't even get on the forecourt. Okay, I'm just going to go across the road here and uh, 